Hi there, Doggy Dan here from the Online Dog Trainer. This video is all about helping you get to grips with walking your dog on the leash. This is a con consultation. This is Mr. Kane. He's a five-year-old mixed breed dog. And you, and you can see before he even leaves the property, he's already pulling, he's already taking control of the walk. And it's very subtle. And it's something which happens in a lot of situations that your dog is actually running the show. They're in charge inside the house. And when you pick up the lead, they simply carry on taking control, making decisions. Remember, the pack leader leads from the front. So if your dog thinks they're in charge, then that's what they're going to do. Now, if you see how he is now, and you'll see in a second, you're going to see me walking Mr. Kane in exactly the same place. Look at the difference in energy. Look at his tail is down. It's not under. He's not fearful. He's not scared. I haven't corrected him compared to here. He's far more confident and bolshy headstrong, pulling, he's making all the decisions and taking no notice of his owner. So that's where being the pack leader has this very subtle effect. It calms the dog down and calming your dog down on the walk before you even start is something I'm going to touch on right here. So before you even get outside of your property, you need to be kind of in control of your dog. And that's what I'm doing with dear Mr. Kane here. He's trying to pull me down the steps and I'm saying, no, hang on, boy, I'm in charge. I'm just going to wait there until he calms down and there are your two options basically you either wait or you can decide it's not going to happen and just uh, take the lead off put your dog inside and sort of postpone the walk but uh, mr kane's responding well and all i'm going to do is walk down the steps he tries to drag me to the gate and i say no nope, i'm in charge you follow me and it's it's easy to do this in your own garden in a calm environment that's where you should start it rather than trying this straight away on the street once Mr. Kane is walking nicely in that area, we progress to the garden. Once he's good at the garden, we move, we move towards the gate. And then we open the gates and we walk in and out of the gates. You can see I've moved my car because my dogs are in the back of the car. It was just too much distraction. And it's just this calm, repeating, keeping your dog in that calm state, saying to them, follow me, follow me. But you can see, if you rush this bit, then you end up with that far more excited, headstrong dog who's making decisions. Whereas when I stop, dear Mr. Kane stops. It's beautiful. The crazy thing is, it's actually not rocket science. It's not tricky. It's not complicated. Anybody could do this. You do have to be the pack leader inside the house, though, for it to sort of have the effect that I'm have, it's having on Mr. Kane here. You can see there, it's not about yanking on that lead. There's a couple of little touches, and, and that's all it needs. Now, what I've decided is to help Mr. Kane's owner. We're going to put on a slightly different device because that collar is not the easiest thing to train a dog on so we've put a special harness on him where the harness actually clips on underneath his chin it's not clipping on his back and here's the first time he's walked on his new harness you can see the effect it's having now yes mr kane's tail's under but it will come out very very quickly he's just not new it's just new this feeling on his body it's uh it's a case of choosing the right device for every dog every dog is different but what i'd suggest is that this device is a pretty good fit for dear Mr. Kane. He's calmed down, and once he gets the hang of it, you'll see his tail come up, and he'll be very happy walking on his new harness. So there you have it. Here's Mr. Kane just a few minutes earlier, pulling his owner down the street, pulling her shoulder out of its joint. An absolute nightmare. Dear boy, though, a few minutes later with me, happy as can be. You see, dogs can change. Whatever your situation, it's just understanding what you've got to change and then they'll walk nicely on the leash. Of course, becoming the pack leader is all part of that. So go to my website, theonlinedogtrainer.com.